All right, so we got the kit all laid out. Looks like this one caught a little water, but it's just surface rust a little. Once you start driving, it'll come off. But this is what I love, man. People watch my videos and they order the stuff and, you know, hit me up. Like, hey, bro, I watched your video, ordered what you said to order. When can I pull up and get it put on? Pull up, let's do it. So this is, these are the type of customers that I love. So um, this is the power stop kit. Uh, we got the pads, new calipers, drilled and slotted rotors. Uh, this one actually comes with new brake lines. So we'll get the new brake lines put in. And then he also went ahead and got the stealth bolt, um, which I explained in the video does the um, proportioning for the, the brakes. It'll give it a more even stop and avoid that nose dive. So I'm gonna start with the rear. Um, I'm probably gonna put the whole car up on jack stands um, because when you do the stealth bolt mod, you have to bleed the entire system all over again. Um, so what I may do actually is, yeah, I may do the, the bolt first and then go in and do the calipers. Because if I do the bolt first, then I can let the rear drip. And as long as the fluid gets back to the rear, I know it's bled and then move on to the front. So let me get the front, get the hood popped. We'll put these, uh, these bolts in. The stealth bolt, proportion and valve bolt in. And um, then we'll get the rear wheels off. We'll get the calipers, rotors, line swapped out bleed it then we'll move on to the front and then we'll be done so i actually came in super early today like i'm never here this early it's it's 10 now but i've been here since about eight messing with the steering wheel so um i got a very very big treat not really for y'all i mean you guys are gonna enjoy it too but it's it's for me so uh i'll post a video about it i'm not even gonna give you a clue uh, but that's why I'm up so early trying to get this car done. Uh, I got this one here as well. Probably going to make another video on this. He's got some electrical issues with the turn signals and hazards and stuff like that. So I know you guys love the diagnostic videos. So that's next. Um, and then we got the oil pan sitting there. We're going to drop the 408 stroker in. And um, he actually, I just got the uh, new harmonic balancer today. We needed one with a key on it. Because this has got the the key on it so we needed that when the old one didn't have it so we got some stuff we got some stuff going on we got some stuff going on um this one here camo car we got this side's complete wires are on headers on just fighting with the header on this side uh everything else is done so once i get the header on well besides transmission lines some other stuff but once i get this header on we can um all the fuel systems done computers tuned and ready to go plugged in uh, got the intake on. We got the throttle cable set up perfectly. Um, so once I get this header on, we got oil pressure. So got to fight with that a little bit. I've never had to hammer one this much. Uh, I don't know why it's fighting with me so bad, but we'll get it. So let me get the hood pop. We'll get the stealth bolt mod done, and then we'll just move on from there. <clears throat> All right. Got the uh, stealth bolt in. I already have a video on this when I did that big... Uh, if you go back a few videos, the complete suspension upgrade, I already showed you guys how to do this, but just to show you it's in, all done. Uh, so we got the car in the air, working on the uh, rear brakes now. Uh, gonna be putting in these new brake lines that I just stepped on. So here it is here. Uh, they're all the same length, so, and they're... so what I normally do is I get it off, get everything off. I go around, I hit this uh, nut here with uh, PB Blast and just pray that it's not rusted. Uh, this one came out pretty easily. Uh, so it's already loose right here. So uh, he's a 13 line wrench and she turns. And definitely want to put something to catch the uh, brake fluid. Uh, this will destroy your paint. Uh, the good thing is though, if you get some on the paint, just pour some water on it. Don't use brake clean, don't use anything like that. Just pour water. Water will neutralize it. Plain old tap water. There's a big flathead screwdriver. Get the keeper out. All right, there we are. Whole thing comes out as an assembly. So that's all good to go and done. Um, so now we'll put the new line in and basically it's just the reverse. Stick this in here like so. Put the keeper on it and then screw it in but again 
need both hands. Hey, like a head mount or chest mount or something for this thing, but let me go ahead and get it attached and uh, finish it up. All right, rears are done. Um, lines are on, they're bled. Um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, all done, new lines in. Uh, so what I do normally is I pump the brakes a few times, make sure it's hard, um, make sure this thing doesn't go dry so you can notice the difference in the fluid. Uh, this fluid is clear, this fluid is dark, so if you didn't know, your rear is in the front and your, your rear reservoir is in the front and the front reservoir is in the back. So uh, once we start bleeding the front, this will all go away and we'll have some nice clean fluid in there. So uh, time to put the wheels on, put it on the ground, and then we'll move on to the front. All right, well, it is several hours later. Um, not because of this. I had to I had to go take a uh, take a little trip and uh, you'll see why in a future video. I, I did film some footage of it. Um, not quite ready to let y'all see it yet, but you will. Don't worry. Just 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 wait on it. But anyway, it's like nighttime. It's freezing cold outside for some reason, but uh, we're all done. Uh, front's bled. New brake lines are on. Got those nice shiny red brake lines in there. New calipers, new pads, new rotors. We got our stealth bolt mod in there. Nice and pretty. Boom. Rear's already done. Wheels are on. So we're pretty much wrapped up on this thing. I'm going to um, pump the brake, make sure it's hard. Then we'll uh, put the wheels on and then take it for a spin. And uh, that's it for this one. So, um, Barring any issues or anything, which I don't see. I mean, brakes is, I was doing brakes in 2004. So <laughs> 20 years later, damn near 20 years later, I'm pretty sure I could do some brakes. Uh, so barring any unforeseen mishaps, we should be good to go on this one. So beautiful 96 DCM um, belongs to a loyal subscriber. He found me on YouTube. He happens to be in the Atlanta area. Um, so I appreciate you both for coming out. Let me put my hands on it. Um, so she's all wrapped up, got your steering wheel straight. And I realize why the backup camera doesn't work. This car doesn't have a backup camera. It's the car outside. So that's why we didn't fix the backup camera. So we're all wrapped up on this one and, um, guess I'll see you on the next one.